finally fully rolled out the insert audio feature on Google Slides. Um, many people were very excited about this, only to be disappointed that they would not be able to record directly into Google Slides. So the workaround for this is finding simple and easy resources and online websites that will do that recording. I know some people have used GarageBand and Audacity, but that can be a little time consuming. When you want to insert audio and you want to do it quickly, you want a really quick solution. That's why I use Online Voice Recorder. Online-voice-recorder.com is a free and easy website for both teachers and students alike. So here, I'm on the site. All I have to do is click this red button and it's going to start recording my voice. I can, you know, continue on and this can go. I don't think there's actually a really a time limit on this. And when I finish, I just click the stop button. All right, so down here I'm looking to see if there's Okay, it doesn't look like there is a time limit. Now, but there is trimming. So when I'm done, I can say here, I want this, and all the way to here. And I can play that back and listen to it. I can, you know, continue on. Okay, and when I'm done, I just click on save. It's going to save to my downloads. But what the next step, and this is a really important step, especially for people that are within school domains. I'm gonna go over to Google Drive, and I'm going to create a new folder called audio recordings All right and with that I'm going to drag this right in to audio recordings okay so if I go into audio recordings now there it is but here's the important part what's gonna happen is your share settings could be a little bit off. In other words, you could share your Google slide with somebody, but when they get to the audio part, it's going to ask them for permission to view the file because it's a separate file. So the reason I put everything in one folder is now I go up to this link here. I'm going to turn it on. Now, right now, it goes only to my, my district. But if I go into sharing settings, I can go to more and I can say anyone with the link. This way, whoever views my, um, my slideshow, my slide deck, is going to have access to those audio recordings. So anytime I do an audio recording, I'm just going to put it in here. The other thing that's kind of helpful is to right click on this and rename it. So I'm gonna call this one the, the test. Um, that just makes it easier for you to then go back and find it. Now, how do we insert that into a Google slide? If I go up to insert audio, this is where I will find my file. Now you'll see here that the files are actually all available right here. It naturally gives you all of your sound files. So I just click on test. Remember it's sitting in that folder that's shared to anybody that has the link. When I select it, you're going to see this. I can put this up in the corner, okay, just like that. Now, just again, when I click on this, and I'm going to get out of that so I show you how to access that. If I click on this and click on Format Options, I get some options to do, okay? I can change the volume like I did there by accident. I can say Start Playing on Click or Automatically. If I'm reading this slide, maybe I want it to play automatically. As soon as they get to this slide, I want that to start playing. Um, you can also um, loop the audio. Okay. Now notice um, if it's playing automatically, you can hide the icon. If it's on the click, well, you don't want to hide the icon because then they can't click the icon. So if I do this automatically, I can hide the icon when presenting. So when I go in present mode, that icon won't be there. I can loop the audio. Let's say I have a 10 second audio clip. Maybe it's a song and it's setting some kind of, um, some kind of feeling and emotion toward, to what they're reading. I can loop that audio. So for however long they stay on that uh, slide, it'll continue to play. And then stop on slide change. Um, that means if it's a 30 second clip and I'm on the slide for 20 seconds and I go to the next slide, that's, that audio is going to stop. If I don't do that, it's going to finish playing. 
All right, so then we have our other options here. Um, can you recolor? Yes, it looks like you can do some recoloring on the audio button itself. So if you want to change that color a little bit, and obviously the adjustments and all, you can do that. Um, so that is how you insert the audio. Remember, you have to record the audio first and then bring it into your Google Drive, share that folder so that everybody has access and you don't really have to worry about it. And then you just go through that insert audio and use the format options to tweak it as you feel necessary. All right, I hope that helps.